Hello and welcome to lovely English stories. Thank you for stopping by. This story is written for beginner English learners. Ready? Let's get started. A2 English story. Matthew's house. Matthew is 34 years old. He is an English teacher and in his spare time he likes to ride motorbikes. He is tall. He has brown hair and brown eyes. He has travelled to lots of countries. Matthew has been saving up to buy a house since he was 21. Finally, he has saved enough money to buy a little house in his favourite village. He put in an offer on the house and he got it. He was very lucky. After about three months, he got the keys to his new house. He moved in and painted all the walls white. He bought some carpet for the living room and the bedrooms. Then he bought some curtains and put them up in each room. He likes to have white walls so that he can have colourful accessories. His favourite colour is green. He has some paintings on his walls. He has lots of plants in his house. Matthew loves plants. They make him feel happy. He has bought a blue sofa and he has green sheets on his bed. The house has a lounge, a large dining kitchen and a big garden. Upstairs there are two bedrooms and a bathroom. The kitchen is big. It has a large dining table. Matthew always wanted to have a big kitchen because he likes to cook and have friends over for dinner. The back garden is big. Matthew has bought some chairs and a small table for the garden. The living room is a square shape. It has a log fire and a big window. It will look very pretty at Christmas when Matthew puts up his Christmas tree in the window. The bathroom has a bath and a big shower and is nice and bright. The main bedroom has a double bed and a big wardrobe for all of Matthew's clothes. The smaller bedroom will be Matthew's office. He will put a desk, a lamp, 
a chair and some bookshelves in there. He will also buy a small bed so his friends can stay over. The house also has a very big cellar. It is cold and dark. Matthew doesn't know what to do with it. He might turn it into a games room or a little cinema. Matthew has bought a new front door for his house and he has made the front garden look very nice. He has planted lots of colourful flowers. The only bad thing about his house is that there is nowhere to park his car, so he has to park it on the road. He does not have a driveway or a garage. His new neighbours are very nice. On one side is a lady called Denise. She is 60 and is a head teacher at a local school. She has a pet dog called Max. On the other side lives a young family. They are called James and Danielle and they have a little girl called Celine. Sometimes Matthew can hear Celine playing and shouting, but he doesn't mind. Across the road from Matthew's house is a big farmer's field. He likes to watch the farmers at work. Sometimes they have small food markets. They sell potatoes, carrots and beer. Matthew likes living in a quiet village. It is very relaxing. He likes to go for long walks around the village and the countryside. Now let's go through some of the vocabulary from this story. Accessory. Accessory. Accessories are additional objects, equipment or decorations that make something more useful or attractive. Log. Log. A log is a thick piece of wood cut from a tree. Cellar. Cellar. A cellar is a room under the ground floor of a building, usually used for storage. Colourful. Colourful. If something is colourful, it has bright colours or a lot of different colours. Spare. Spare. If something is spare, it is available to use because it is extra. Wardrobe. Wardrobe. A wardrobe is a tall cupboard in which you hang your clothes. Bookshelf. Bookshelf. A bookshelf is a shelf that you put books on. Garage. Garage. A garage is a building where a car is kept and is built next to or as part of 
a house. Head teacher, head teacher. A head teacher is someone who is in charge of a school. Lamp, lamp. A lamp is an electric light, especially a small one that stands on a table or desk. Lucky, lucky. If you are lucky, then good things are happening to you by chance. Neighbor, neighbor. A neighbor is someone who lives near you or next door to you. Quiet, quiet. To be quiet is to make very little or no noise. Shout, shout. To shout is to say something in a loud voice. We hope you enjoyed this lovely English story and the vocabulary explanations. Thank you for stopping by and don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Get productive and check out our language learning productivity packs and stories on Etsy. Use code YouTube10 for 10% off. You can find the link in the description box below.